Professor Dave again, let's talk about Chester Arthur. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff, Professor Dave explains. Chester Allen Arthur succeeded to the presidency upon the assassination of President James Garfield. In office, Arthur struggled to overcome a negative reputation as a big city machine politico, stemming from his early career as a New York Republican. By embracing the cause of civil service reform and his subsequent enforcement of the Civil Service Reform Act, he became widely admired and respected. Arthur served as quartermaster general in the New York militia during the Civil War. Following the war, he quickly rose in the political machine run by New York Senator Roscoe Conkling. When Ohioan Garfield won the Republican nomination for president in 1880, New Yorker Arthur was nominated for vice president to balance the ticket. After just six months as vice president, Arthur found himself in the White House due to Garfield's assassination. To the surprise of reformers, Arthur, the product of a political machine widely suspected of corruption, took up the cause of reform. He signed the Pendleton Act into law and strongly enforced its provisions. This established that positions in government should be assigned by merit rather than political affiliation. Suffering from poor health, Arthur did not strongly pursue the Republican Party's nomination in 1884. Although he entered office widely distrusted, Arthur left generally respected, earning praise from contemporaries for his solid record. Mark Twain wrote that it would be hard indeed to better President Arthur's administration. He left office in 1885 and died the following year. His memory has not outlived him, and he remains one of the most obscure and forgotten presidents. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials, support me on Patreon so I can keep making content, and as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.